In this video, I will compare Odoo versus WordPress and tell you which of these website builders may be best for you and your business's needs. So I'll compare them in terms of features, pricing, and tell you which one I would pick depending on your circumstances. So first, let's start with Odoo. So obviously, Odoo has a lot of different apps and it's kind of an all-in-one software for businesses. But we will be focusing on the website apps that they have. So they have the Enterprise Website Builder, then they have the e-commerce app which allows you to sell your products and they also have some additional apps such as a blogging app, live chat, e-learning and forums. But the main two are website and e-commerce. So if you are looking to create an e-commerce website, you will need to have both the website app right here and the e-commerce app. If you are only looking to create a website, then you can just use the website app. Now if you are already using other Odoo apps, then I would just go with Odoo's Website Builder in most cases, but not in all. So WordPress, on the other hand, is a specific website builder, and that is all it does, and therefore it is really good at that. They have a bunch of themes and plugins, and WordPress allows you to create a lot more customized websites. Now that does make it a little bit more difficult to use compared to Odoo. If you're looking for the easier option, then Odoo may be the better choice for you. If you're looking for the better website builder, then that's definitely going to be WordPress. And on WordPress, you can also do e-commerce using the WooCommerce plugin. Now WooCommerce plugin is better than the e-commerce app on Odoo in my opinion and the WordPress website builder is better than the website builder on Odoo. But if you're already using some sales apps, some finance apps, maybe inventory apps, then the Odoo website app can be added on completely for free. You only need to pay for the users. So it could be free if you're already using several different apps from Odoo compared to the pricing of WordPress, which you can see right here ranges from 4 euros per month up to 45 for the commerce plan where you get access to WooCommerce and if you pay monthly then it's more than it's 70 euros and then the enterprise here starts at $25,000 per year and this is used by huge brands such as Meta, Slack, Samsung, Intuit and many more. So in terms of pricing for enterprise websites, the Odoo website builder is a lot more affordable because this one is $25,000 per year compared to Odoo's pricing right here. For €19.90 per user per month, you get access to all apps. So if there's even five people working on the website, then that's only €100 Euros a month. So should you pick Odoo or WordPress? In my opinion, if you're already using many different Odoo apps, then I would probably use the Odoo website builder unless you want to have a lot of customization options, then I would still go with WordPress. And if you are not yet using Odoo and you are just considering using Odoo for the website builder, maybe the e-commerce app, then I wouldn't do that. Then I would just go with WordPress since WordPress is the better website builder in my opinion. So that concludes this comparison of Odoo versus WordPress. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.